So if you watched my last video, you saw that this kind of happened during the filming of my last tutorial. I actually broke a lot of eyeshadows in my MAC Neutral palette and I was pretty devastated. So this was my reaction back then. <laughs> oh my guys, I just dropped my entire MAC Neutral palette on the floor. I'm so upset right now. Um, I'm gonna try and fix it. And I did. So this is what it looks like after I've done my repressing. So I will show you how to do that right now. So first you're gonna need some rubbing alcohol. I used ethanol that's 70% pure. You can use one that's higher, but just make sure it's at least 70%. And then an eyedropper just makes things a little bit easier to distribute this onto the product. As you can see, the eyeshadow is pretty busted. So I used the eyedropper to get some of the alcohol out of the bottle and just put that onto the, the product. And this will basically dissolve the powder into a liquid and then I used a spatula you can also use like a toothpick or a bobby pin or something just to kind of dissolve the product up and also to smooth it out along the top and this is going to make it into one sort of more uniform coherent product again instead of it being all shattered and then you want to tap it down against a surface gently this is just to get down any air bubbles that may be in the product and also just to help smooth it out a little bit so this is what it should look like now the product is still wet don't worry about that the easiest thing to do now is just to let it dry overnight the next day all the alcohol should have evaporated this is just a different shadow that I'd already done the night before so this is what it will look like the day after and then you're going to need a coin that's about the same size as the eyeshadow pan um, so this will vary according to whatever product you're using you don't really need to use a coin if you don't have one but it's just a little bit easier and then I used a very thin tissue and just put it on top and then the coin goes on top of that and then you're going to use the coin to press down on the eyeshadow and this is really going to firm up the eyeshadow so you're basically repressing it and make sure to get it along the sides as well that's what it should look like once you've repressed it it's not absolutely perfect but it's pretty good I mean you can still use the eyeshadow perfectly well like this and then it's ready to rejoin its friends in the palette. So remember, you can also use this technique on blushes and powders. And if you don't have the appropriate coin size for that, you can just use your fingers to press down on the tissue. So I hope that was helpful for you all and I'll see you very soon.